doing my haul. It's also a very sad day because my 18 year old has been shipped off to Tampa, Florida to go live with grandma to start a new life because he just didn't want to make it work in Colorado. So it's a sad day and it's bittersweet because we're still doing a haul, but it's not going to be as light and lifting because though he's 18, he's still my baby. So I'll be back in two shakes and tell you what I got from the Colorado Eatery. Thank you guys and stay tuned. This is the beautiful view I get traveling to Colorado Eatery, which is in Palisade, Colorado. And it's quite beautiful. And I get to see the Rockies, right? Oh, yes. Smokies. Yeah, Smokies, Syracuse, and the Rockies. So I get to see some. These are actually called the Mesas. These are Mesas. I, yeah. Mesa. Mesa. Sorry, Mesa. I never say that properly. It's Mesa. And this is Clifton. And Clifton's where they grow the marijuana. And I found that out a week ago by some dude that was trying to get to Clifton. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about the semi. Anyways, there's some guy that was by my hotel and he was talking to me about uh, where they have the weederies down here. So this is where they grow. It's also, look at that. Those are wineries. That is wine stuff. So I'm going to be pulling in. I'm going to show you what they call a bottle read. You can know what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. But this is wine country. They do wine and peaches and fruits. And it's a very beautiful tribe. And I wanted to share it with you guys today. Aww. Pulling into the beautiful Colorado Weedery. I don't have to wait that long because I'm in uh, pre-order line. Holy shit. But you know what? We'll get through it. But this is the Weedery, guys. Okay, okay haulers. I had to come back because they didn't have my order ready at the Wee Colorado Weedery, so I had to come back. So I got my stash, and I'll talk about it a little later, later. Okay, so I had to come back to the Colorado Weedery, every guys, and I'm just going to show you really quick. Got it? Got my stuff, and I will show you in just two shakes what I got. So, uh, peace and hair grease, and I'm back in two shakes. You went shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> Black Friday running late, but... Got our shit. And are we on? We're on. Welcome, my haulers. And today is a nighttime review. Only in the fact because we just had to go back, and I have other stuff that showed you that I went there during the day. Had to go back because they didn't actually have all. They didn't have my stuff ready because they were an hour and a half behind because of Black Friday. So today it's nightly. It's about six o'clock p.m. Right? What time is it? Nine it's nine p.m. <laughs> Colorado. So we also, of course, went to the Colorado Colorado Weedery again. Over Colorado. Colorado Weedery in Palisade. Now remember, everybody, that is on one two five Peach Avenue, uh, Building C, Palisade, Colorado eight one I can't two eight one five two six, and yeah. Today, I did get my butt tender's name, and my butt tender's name was Adam. So, thank you, Adam. Welcome to the hall, and your name is now new with my other butt tenders extraordinaire. So, let's see what's in my bag tonight, you motherfuckers. So, let's see what we got. All right, I've got several things. Two things are not going to stay with me. Two things are being given to my friend who lives in another state that can't get to this place because of work reasons. So I have to wait till she comes to visit me and then I give her her stuff. So let's see what we've got. So that is for AKA Mrs. Smith and Peaches. Okay, so the first thing we're going to show you, I didn't get a freehand thing today. I got this. This is called, it's from Heartland Industries. Okay, it is, I can't read that because I have blinding light in my eye. What does that say? My bird. <laughs> Hybrid. Hybrid. Okay, no, the first one. Diesel? Is that word diesel? The bright light. Oh, chisel. Just chisel, chisel, oh, chisel. Oh, chisel fudge. Chisel fudge. Okay, so it's called chisel fudge, you guys, see? And it is exactly 20 THC, and I got 3.5 grams. Now, I got away with this, the diesel chis uh, the chisel diesel. I got away with that, literally, you guys, for 26.61 for 3.5 grams. That's amazeballs. So we're going to um, inspect this. Now, I like this handy a little like. Do you see the sparkly thing? I don't really know what that is. Oh, it's to show you that it's the thing. How nice of them. So to open this 
Mother Humper. Uh, oh my god. Dude, this is like complicated. Hold on. Oh yeah. shit. What? No, it was. No, that wasn't recording. This now. No. Um, there's an issue. I can't open my marijuana. And it has these things that came off of it. And it says right here. And you take these little sparkly things in their grips. Why do we have these glitter gr grips? Maybe y'all can tell me what the fuck that's for. How do you open this? You're not supposed to cut into it, right? How do you open it? Is it like the magic? How do you get into this, you guys? I feel very stupid right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. No, I don't got it. This is what happens when you don't know how to open your weed package. Now, how the fuck do you open this? Do you see this? This is why I do this live, you guys. So I can tell you. What the you can't get into this weed shit. You can't get into this brownie batch. This chisel fudge shit. I'm about just to cut it. I don't have scissors in here. How the fuck do you open this? I can't even even to think that it won't pop. Okay, this is how stupid I feel, you guys. If there is a secret to opening this special one, are you fucking... Do I have to call... We're not going to be getting into this today, um, so I will talk about this tomorrow since they made it so goddamn difficult, so I'm going to give you a thumbs down. I can't even get into this without having to fucking cut this with a pair of scissors or something. I mean, do I even have a knife in here? Yes. Where the fuck is my This is ridiculous. Okay. Got it. Right here. I got one. Right here. Fuck. This is stupid, you guys. I can't even get into my own fucking Ziploc baggie right here. That it's for fucking... It's a nice package, but I can't get into it. So, okay. So, what it is, I took my thing and I just slid it open with my thing. So, now it's not going to close properly, but I opened it. So, there's a thumbs down already. It took me more than 30 seconds to get into my marijuana. Oh, and if you it. know me... What? Here. Oh, it's right back here. And you know me, I don't like to wait and look around for my shit. So, oh shit. Damn, you guys. Is there any terpenes that are going to tell me anything about it? No. Just 19 THC, literally, is what it says. So let's look Ziploc at this. Ziploc bags for the win. Yeah, Ziploc bags for the win. I mean, it's supposed to have like an awesome clothes. And these little things, I don't know what these are for, but they sure as hell don't help me open the fucking bag. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who does that? I don't fucking know. But anyways, I got the bag open. So let's inspect my fat nugs. Okay, they're regular, normal size nugs. I figured they'd be dry, but no. They kind of smell like burnt fudge. Can you see this, you guys? It smells a little bit like burnt fudge. And I'm going to look over here and I'm going to break it open. It's a little dry, to tell you the truth. I don't like plastic packaging. Why doesn't Heather like plastic packaging, Aaron? Because it's stupid. Because it dries out marijuana, and plastic is a very bad chemical, especially for any natural product, even if it's a plant, normal plant, a fern, or a marijuana, which is actually a flower. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I'm just going to tell you, we opened that. I got a thumbs down because I couldn't get into the damn package. And two, it was dry, but we haven't tried it yet, so we'll just see. When we're done with that, okay. See, baby, my partner's leaving because he has to go do manly things in the bathroom and flush six times. So, you know, I'm just joking. Love shower. you, Pootsie. And shower. I love you, booby. Yeah, booby. Yeah. Oh, where's the cigarettes, boo? Okay, I got it, baby. I love you. Okay. All right, you guys. That was numero uno, and I'm very upset by this product. Not by the inside, the outside, or any of that, you guys. But what I am very upset about is having to get into the package. And you're like, oh, you're stupid. You're a stupid idiot because you couldn't get into the package. That's not fair to say. The thing is, is it shouldn't be hard to get into your marijuana unless you're a child. I'm not a child. I don't need help. I have no children around me to get into my marijuana. So that was number one from Heartland Industries. I like your package. Could you maybe understand what these fucking little grippy little... Look, they come off and they're glittery. Would you please explain to me what these are for and how am I supposed to get into this without cutting it? Because I had to cut it to open it. So, um, yeah. That was that. What's in my bag? Two. <laughs> I'm having a really fucked up day. Not only is it bittersweet that my son... Literally, you guys. My son is gone for good. Well... Not for good, you guys. That's not what I meant to say. That's not awful to say that. It's not for good. Um, I have to get some air in here. What it is, my son um, decided to get violent with me again, and he said something to me that was a little bit unforgivable. And I said, okay, well, I've been carrying you for 18 years, so I guess maybe you can carry yourself outside. He didn't like that, so uh, he carried himself to Florida. His grandmother's were having his $179 ticket all the way to Florida from Colorado. So, bye. So, he can go take care of Grandma. And Grandma can take care of him. And they can just do whatever it is they're going to do. And go behind my back and do whatever. He's 18 now. He is not my responsibility by law. I raised him. I fed him. I gave him his clothes. I put him to school. I spent money on his medication, his education, his shrinks. 
we're done. So, if he wants to grow up and live with me when he's later, he better have some growing up to do. So, let us take a butt. Mmm. Thank you for my viewers on TikTok. I'm up to 1,200 plus. So, right, I have um, uh, 1,200 and like 50, 1,218 right now. I don't want to go over because I'm not really sure because it changes constantly. But thank you. That might not be a lot for more people like 1,200. Oh, that's not a lot. It is for me. And I'm thankful for my 60 to 70 viewers that I now have. I'm just looking for more subscribers. So, please subscribe because I love you guys. And I found out that there is a little bit further away. There's another weed store, another uh, marijuana dispensary, and I'm going to go to that one next time, and I'm going to tell you all about it, because I can't be a real reviewer, and I'm not just going to one place, I'm going to different places. So, number two on our list, you guys, is going to be, okay, two and three are going to be the one that I'm not even keeping. You guys, these are going to my friend. She's going to come here and we hand them to her. These are strips. These are made by Escape Artists and they're micro dose strips. And it is, I believe, it's 100 milligrams with 10 strips. So each strip is 10 milligrams and these are both. Weird. <laughs> Some good music. They both both the tea, but they're the same one. So these are lemon flavored, I guess. I can hardly see it, you guys. Because it says 10 milligrams TT per strip. So I'm actually going to open one up. And the reason I can open one up, because they just come out, because I'm going to just give them to her like this. She knows what they look like. She's not an idiot, you know. She just can't get them where she's living because it's not 100% recreational. It's only medically necessary. And she can't afford to do the medical call. So, and it takes years to get it where she's at. So they're, they're like, she's in one of the Bible Belt states that probably will never allow recreational. But it is medical there. So, but... We're trying, we're trying to get those billions into America with the marijuana. But anyways, let's open this up and expect number two. Like I said, are these strips? Now, these are sativa. She has a problem with energy. I don't know how to get into these motherfuckers. Okay, so this one, you just, oh, you do the, I don't know. I'm having problems. Okay, oh, nice. So it's going to be on rice paper. They like to use rice paper. Oh my god, these are such itty bitty little strips. And you're going to put these little bitty wafer strips under your tongue. And you put them under your, in your salvation, salivation glands. Sorry, not salvation. Salvation, salivation glands. Take it in and go straight to your bloodstream. One of the fastest ways to get marijuana is your bloodstream besides smoking it. Saliva glands. So that's going to be for her. She has two of these. And they just slide out these cute little mint boxes. They smell like lemon drops. So she's going to be able to get that. And these come in 10 in a pack and she's going to get two packs because that should last her for quite some time. So, um, that's awesome. I can't wait. I'm not going to try these because I don't need sativas and this is for her, not for me. So that's two and three, which is basically two. So these are not even for me, but they are doing a review on them because I do like those, um, micro doses myself, but not chocolates, but I do like them, but I'm getting them for her. So I've got two. count them two other things coming up. So basically that's two so three and three and four so i got two remember last week i had ice cream man can have got two more ice cream mans but they're not ice cream mans they're different flavors so this one is by honest marijuana you guys okay and it's called dosi pie and dosi pie is a hybrid so it's a mood stabilizer and this one is 15 thc that's fine and dandy. So we're going to match these up. And the only reason I bought the cans, they seem to last longer with me than the freehand waiting. Maybe it's because they're in a can. But this is what you do. You're going to line up the arrows, you guys, on this one. You're going to line up the arrows on this. And you're going to pop it. Now, I had some issues with it popping it the last time because my fingernails really suck. And some have popped off and I'm going to redo them again. So you just kind of slide your nail or a sharp implement up in there. And you pop the fucker off like that. See? Oh, cool. And do you see this little pop top, you guys? It's freshness seal. So you're going to pop this mother effing... I have to pop all my freshness seals, you guys. And I have to. Because I have to show you all the goods. These are neat, neat, fat nugs, Betty. Ooh, very nice. Now, this one's called pop... I've had do -si dough before, but it's do -si pie. So it's basically Girl Scout do -si doughs and mixture with wedding pie. So you got do -si pie. So it's going to be strong. And it's only 15, but it's probably going to have a nice snooter level on that. I haven't done any reviews yet, so we'll see. Smells very piney, very agitated. Kind of like algae in a pond. Very pond-like. And, you know, weed is dirty, so it smells like that. Okay, so this is going to be 
four, number four right here, you guys, is technically going to be also from the Honest Marijuana Company. Can you see that? Okay. And this one is named... If you can see it, it's called Mandarin Cookies. I tried to get this last week, but they were out, so I got the Ice Cream Man can. So now I've got the Mandarin Cookies can. So we're going to inspect this, and it is a THC of 16.48, which is 16. So we'll see. So let's um, point up our little arrows, you guys. Is that it? I can't tell because it's so... Here it is. We're going to pop our little arrows. I hope you can see me. I'm not too close to you guys' freaking face. Because I'm not used to having a light putting right at my face unless it's a selfie one. But that one's not so harsh. I'm not very good at these cans, you guys. Because I have those thick acrylics and dips. Like, both are... Some are acrylics and some are dips. So, I got to pop my nail into it. So, we're going to safety seal again. Remember, this is from my honest company. And, um... God, this is a tight one. Ooh, damn. Okay, this one. Whoa, pretty stout. Very stout. Um, mm. There's a very floral fragrance to this, you guys. This is the mandarin orange. It's a very light smell. I'm going to bust a nug open just to see crystallines on it. Okay, you see this? this is it shiny? I hope it turns out good because I can't really see. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's still good. It's still recording good, you guys. I just want to make sure it's... Yeah, recording properly. Sorry. I just, I haven't done it from this level. So, it looks very good on inspection. Now, I haven't done any review. I'm going to do a review in front of you, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do a review on. But I think it's technically, I'm going to try it on this brownie fudge uh, chisel diesel. Even though I could open the motherfucker, but I want to try that one really, really, really bad. So, these will be going to my friend tomorrow. Okay. So, um, <laughs> excuse me. My freaking, um, Ugh, I took my Benadryl and my allergies have been acting up really bad today. My kid left and they've been acting really bad and I cried a little bit. So I'm a little funky. My makeup looks funky. Get over it. So, on inspection, I had a pretty good haul today. The only problem I had today is I didn't really mind, but people were complaining from the Colorado Readery. They were telling me, thank you for your patience. And they were so polite. And I was like, why would I be patient? They said, well, people are getting mad because it's Black Friday and they have to wait. I said, they have to wait? I said, I really feel bad that they have to wait in line for drugs. I applied to the Colorado Weedery and they claimed I need a med card to work there. When I asked more than one time, what do I need to work there? It's basically they pass a background check. I can pass a level four background check. Like, I could work for the FBI if they wanted me, even though they probably would never want anything to do with me. I have no skills that the FBI would ever need. I can pass a background check. So that's all you need to do. I don't have a med card, but I'm sure there's course you could take or whatever. But I wanted to do it, but I got turned down. But that's okay, because I can always reapply again. And I always got this job, right? Still smoking weed. Still doing my job. Still loving it. I just want to get more into the um, the marijuana universe, you know? Because I want to do more of the hands-on stuff. Not just the purchase and reviewing. Because I love marijuana. I enjoy all aspects of it. I like that you can turn it into butter. You can turn it into cookies. You can turn it into tincture for your dog. You can do a lot of shit for it. So, I really, 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 really like that. And um, we're going to test some shit out today. And I'm so happy because I'm so excited. We're going to grind up a new motherfucker today. Good new marijuana. New marijuana. Wanna, new marijuana. We're going to try this chisel juices. Now, I got away with $120 worth of marijuana type products. Remember, two of those were 11 something and those were the strips. And then I got this for like 24 and the other one for like 20, the other one for 20. So I got away with, holy crap, 10.5 grams plus 200 milligrams of strips. Hello, I did pretty well for 120, but I can't wait to try this. So let is going to grind and expect. Now, I still have inside of my grinder, I have a little bit of infusion that I had left, my crumbles. I poured all my crumbles in today. So when I was high at work, that I mean, not at work, uh, taking my son, I would be okay to deal with it because it's very hard to deal with emotional stuff when I'm not high because I can't handle it. So when I was high, I made sure I smoked a sativa so I could handle it because it keeps me strong. So I'm going to take a nug. Here's a big fatty. It smells like brown. It smells like fudge and dirt and earth is, is what it is. And I like that earth smell. Okay, so I'm going to grind her up and see how she gets fluffy, you guys, and see what she she looks like. Let's close her up. Now, I'm scared this summer is going to like get dried out, but I, I can make soft caps, so that's fine. Okay, so my package here. So, 
upon inspection of the Colorado weedery, if you are waiting in line for legal drugs, shut up. Not the Colorado Reader said shut up. People, shut up. And if you don't like a reviewer telling you that, I'm not a spoiled little brat. I don't get free marijuana. I get paid to smoke marijuana. There's a difference. I get paid to help people find marijuana. There's a difference. I do not sell it or anything like that. I purchase it and tell you what to buy, what's good for your pain, what's not good for your pain, what's good for people who can't chew weed, for good for people who can't smoke it, all this stuff and all this stuff. I educate you on it. I try to anyways. Me being a little sober and watching, I'm like... So far behind in um, Game of Thrones because we started it just a few years ago. And I really got into it because I'm like, I know that I'm asexual, you know. And I am aware that there's no such thing as really straight and everyone's technically bisexual. Well, I'm going to have to agree on that, motherfucker. Because there is something about the girl who plays Daenerys, you know, the, the mother of dragons. There's something so awesome about her that I want to lick her back and make love to every part of her body. And I know that I should say, because I shouldn't be, like, talking about a woman's body that way, but she is a character, but as a human, she's so beautiful that I would literally turn lesbian for her, even though I'm asexual and I'm a straight, hetero, asexual woman, which means I'm attracted to more men than I am women, and I do have sex with men, but I don't have to have sex, and sex doesn't mean anything to me, because it's just, anybody can do it. That's the way I think, but she's hot, and there's a few women out there that just Butter my bread, if you would say Daenerys. The girl who plays Daenerys. Woo! So I'm only on number six. So basically, the only thing I know so far is Cersei's just got made queen because her son killed himself. And if you didn't know that, that's a spoiler. So, well, I didn't. Everyone else knows it but me. I'm like uh, nine seasons behind, and then they're doing spinoffs already. So that's kind of how that goes. So we're doing all this. So I know I'm smoking a hybrid right now because I don't need it. I don't need an indica to get me too down because it's only like nine o'clock. And I don't need something that'll shoot me up like a sativa. So I got a hybrid. So you know what that does? Mood stabilization. So I'm going to do some mood stabilization here. Now, I want to thank everybody for watching me and uh, connecting with me on my YouTube, connecting with me on my TikTok, especially TikTok, and Instagram, the Cure, JCures42. He's in Long Beach, California. You need to call him, Instagram him for all your marijuana needs. He will get it to your door. He's a foot soldier. So there you go. He is doing that. So I'm trying to help him out with that because he tried to hook me up. He hooked me up with a bunch more people watching me and a bunch more followers. So thank you, JCures42, for all your followers. <clears throat> and I'm sorry I can't do more for your selling and purchasing needs for your store boutique, honey. I can't. And that's legally because I am not a merchandiser. I cannot legally do that. I want to. But I legally can't. And my job depends on keeping a clear, clear, clean record. Right? Okay, so that's how that is. Not that he doesn't have a clean record. I'm just saying I can't. He's in California, different rules. I had Dubai. The rules are that are in my state. So every state, this the rules that I'm into the state, I have to know what's going on in each state. So I've got to watch my 10 and my 6 everywhere I go. What do you mean? Uh, watch your 10 and watch your fucking 6. Because you know what? You can't see behind you if you can't see beside you. So you got to keep that shit legal. Keep it legal. Keep it green. Keep it safe. And keep it real. Do you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to test this first hit of this and see how smooth it is and see what the what the kick is. So, I'm going to say upon speculation, it's only two stars out of five. On speculation of smell, the snooter level is only two, even though I aerated it. It's a two. It's barely smelly. It's a very low grind weed, as in it grinded up really fluffy and flat, which you like. It's not too hairy. So, it's nice, fluffy, and flat. If you don't know what fluffy and flat means, look at a unicorn, a fluffy flat, okay? So, that's kind of what you get. Not fluffy and junky, but fluffy and flat. Not when it grinds up and it's real crusty. You're not crusty. What do you mean? Like too dry, it's too powdery? You know, you want it like kinetic sand, not like powder. Because powder, yeah, it's dried shit. It's going to be moldy, gross, and dry, not taste good. But if you get it with that like, kinetic sand, it's thick, robust, and nice and ready for the smoking. Okay. Oh, you guys. Very smooth kick. Not much kick back in the throat. Ew. Ew. Ew, you guys. Ew. Okay. Sucking it in. It's like dirty. You ever dropped a chocolate bar on the ground and ate that shit? Or you dropped it... <sighs> Or you drop some candy that tastes like chocolate and it actually fell on the ground or on your sock and it had a little something on it. It's dirty chocolate. Inhale. Straight. Dirt. Exhale. 
chocolate water. Oh my god! Yoo-hoo! It reminds me of a you a dirty watered down yoo-hoo. Yes. I will not drink chocolate water. Or chocolate soldier, which is the same thing as you. It's very gross. Nothing against if you like you who chuck a soldier. Nothing against it, but I'm a Pepsi vanilla fan myself. So if you have Coke in front of me and you have Pepsi in front of me, I'm going to go for Pepsi. And the reason Coke and Pepsi do taste different, and most people won't believe me, and you're going to Google this after I tell you. You're going to Google this, and I want you to Google this. I Googled why Pepsi and Coke were different. It doesn't give you the full ingredients of Coke and the full ingredients of Pepsi like you would know what any of that is unless you worked in a chemistry lab. And I've only worked in like one and it wasn't that type of chemistry lab. It was for food processing, you know, so it's different. It wasn't like a, it was like a McDonald's. It was weird. It was a lab. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just a little, it's cold out and I'm trying to keep, look, it's cold. Hey, it took six seasons for winter is coming to Winterfell. Winter came, it took six seasons, two years for winter to come to Winterfell. Just to let you know, it happens in season six. Winter is upon us. Winter is already here. So, you know, I'm into that. So we're only in six where, where Cincy's just took over the throne. And now the boats are coming in with Daenerys on the boats like this with the, um, with the, um, you know, the, um, the dwarf guy. I know they're called little people here in America, but they're called dwarfs, but he's the, um, the king's son, dude, right? Whatever his name, I can't figure his name. So he's my second favorite. He's my, my first favorite character is Daenerys. My second favorite character is going to be Brienne. I love Brienne because she's a badass woman. And then my third is going to be um, uh, the Lannister uh, dwarf guy. I love him. I can't think of his name because I'm, I'm just cold. I'm freezing. Okay. And we're behind on Walking Dead, too. I still haven't seen season 10, and my husband still has not seen all of season nine so we have to wait to get it all together because we can't look up certain things on the internet we can't look at things because we know that if we look it up i know certain things that he doesn't know because i've watched a little bit further than him but the thing is is that it's just a little bit further but then i went back and we're doing it all over again he's still at the the walking dead the whispers right now still at the whispers and negan just got out of the cell to look around and uh rick's daughter Got her. Got him back in, and that's all I remember for that one. So that's what we're doing right there. And then we're doing, the, we're so behind on everything else. So we're trying. So we're older folks, so that's what we do. And right now we're just trying to function without my kid here. And it's very hard for me because no matter what people think, I have let him just have everything he's ever wanted. I basically just did everything. But I, I worry about him, but he's 18 now, and he's going to have to learn that I can't clean up his mess if the mess is continually going to be charged on him. I can't keep cleaning up a mess. Just like we can't keep cleaning up the president's messes. We can't keep cleaning up some other man's messes. And we keep cleaning up all these other men's messes. We're just tired of cleaning your mess up. And maybe at 18 is the time that we don't have to clean up anymore. And I hope to God he learns to clean up after himself. Because like I'm not going to make some baby man that's walk around um groom and can't take care of himself. And I've taught him well, but let's see if he carries it out through his life. So... It just makes me very sad, you guys, that I had to say goodbye to my child. You know, I spent that time with him, and I tried to get him right, and he's been to different, and he's been to crazy houses, he's been to self-care places. I mean, I can't, I can't even help him anymore, so maybe when he's 18, he can get more help. Maybe. Or try him. So upon inspection, I'm going to give this a high of a three, because I'm not super duper high, but usually we hit me within like five minutes. So... I'm going to give this a smell of a snooter level of 2, a static level of a 2, almost no static in my throat, no static in my nose. It's really great, and the high is about a 3, so it's a very mellow marijuana at a 19. Um, basically, it said 20, but it's actually 19 THC and 1 terp and something else, probably 1 myrcene. So I'm going to sign off and tell you I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I was a little erratic today, but we had a lot of stuff going on, so it's a bittersweet day. Son is 18 and wanted to leave and had to leave because it was just I couldn't take the violence anymore. And then I went on a weed haul. It was great. And we had a good day, but I missed my kid. It's just it's a whole bunch of feelings all into one, and I just want to thank all my followers, and I love you, so you need to follow, alert, comment, anything you want. I love you guys, and I will see you the next time on Heather's Hall or my Rants and Rays, and catch me on TikTok, Instagram. Ah. Oh, shut up. So you catch me on Instagram, Facebook, and, uh, and here, Heather's Hall. It's all Heather's Hall, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. So, 
Peace and hair grease on your nutsack. Keep your cheeks tight. And don't let that meat loaf. And I will see you next time on Heather's Saw. Keep it green, keep it legal, and keep it safe. I love you. Thanks for watching.